Hello, Sycamore. Happy Thursday. Today is April 13, 2023, and welcome to this episode of our daily video announcements. One week of testing down, one more to go. Although for eighth graders, it's two. I'm Corey. And hello, I'm Kieran. We're so excited to be here with you all on the daily video announcements. Thank goodness ELA testing is over. Now, let's please stand, place our hands over our hearts, and honor this amazing country as we say the Pledge of Allegiance together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you all, and please be seated. Remember, as a reminder, if you see something, say something. Please report any suspicious behavior to a staff member or administrator. It is important to keep us safe. Check your work and school emails throughout the day, too. Make the right decision, and as always, the PBIS responsible young adults. Be safe, be respectful, and be problem solvers. We have like six weeks of school. The 2022 to 2023 school year is closing fast. It's the final countdown. Get good sleep and make sure you eat a good breakfast for the math air testing days coming up next Wednesday, April 19th, and Thursday, April 20th. Then the seventh graders are done. Yay! And eighth graders finish up with the science air test on Tuesday, April 25th. Yay! Testing is almost over. Keep doing your best and show the state of Ohio your best learning growth this year and try your best to show how great our school is. Get good quality sleep and eat healthy to do your best. Take your time on the test, reread questions, and double check your answers. And remember, we won't have announcements during air testing. If you have a lost sweatshirt or jacket, please stop by the Lost and Found this week to look for it. We will be clearing out the Lost and Found next week. As a reminder, if you lose something more valuable, like a phone, wallet, or jewelry, please check with Mrs. Namaki in the office. We the people, please check your emails for updated information for a competition at the Supreme Court. Share this with your parents that they are planning on attending on Friday. That's tomorrow. Remember that if you would like to go to the Partners Club field trip, you need to turn in your permission slip and $20 to Ms. Serbless by April 14th. If you need a new permission slip, please go to Ms. Serbless in room 103 and email her if you have any other questions. Next up, did, did you know? know? Did you know the 1939 novel Gatsby is the longest book is the longest book ever published that doesn't contain the letter E? In 1939, American author Ernest Vincent Wright published Gatsby, a 50,000-word novel that doesn't use the letter E once. That's even more shocking when you consider that E is the most commonly used letter in the English language. Next up, National, National Day. Day! Today is National Thomas Jefferson Day. National Thomas Jefferson Day honors the birth of the third president of the United States, Thomas Jefferson, who was born on April 13, 1743. Wow, that's so cool. Next up, Birthdays. birthdays! Happy birthday to Sophia B. and Hope C. And happy belated birthday to Elijah W., Colt B., Jackson H., Leland A., Sarah S., and Joel T., who, cel who all celebrated over the air testing. Have an amazing Sycamore birthday! Now over to Mr. Harris with our Students of the Week. Hey, it's Charlie. Um, every year, Sycamore Duty High School students are invited to enter the Mikey Jurup Poetry Contest. The contest honors the memory of former teacher Mikey Drup, who passed away from cancer many years ago. Poems entered in the contest should honor her positive spirit. The theme should be uplifting and inspiring. For more information about the contest, join the Mikey Drup Google Classroom. The code is R3PLZSP. Deadline for the contest is this Friday, April 20th. Wait. Uh, not this Friday. Oh, it says it's this Friday. Okay, right. for the contest is Friday, April 28th. Good afternoon, Sigmore Junior High. It gives me great pleasure to present this week's Students of the Week. So our first Student of the Week, nominated by Mrs. Hutt, is Diana Sudahar. And Diana, like I said, was nominated by Mrs. Hunt. She was nominated for being safe, for being responsible, for being a problem solver, and being respectful. So she gets this certificate. There you go, honey. And Chick-fil-A! There you go. Okay. David Bizakian. Say it again for me, David. Bajikian. Bajikian. All right. And David was nominated by Mr. James. He was nominated for being safe, for being responsible, for being a problem solver, and being respectful. Here's your write-up. You have your Chick-fil-A. Uh, we want to recognize our other students of the week. Thank you, David. Uh, Addie Heinen, she was nominated by Mrs. Huffman. And Sophia Mountain, she was nominated by Mrs. Hurley. So congratulations to all of our students of the week. 
got our athlete of the week was Emily Phillips. Emily comes to us from the uh, fast pitch softball. And Emily's returning for her second year, moving from the outfield to the infield. She's a hard worker and a quick learner. She's took up catching as a response to the coach's request. And through her hard work, she's picked up valuable skills behind the plate to become the starting catcher. Um, she's also shown great leadership skills, assisting with uniform handout, equipment management, and team morale. So we are very happily happy to select Emily as our Women's Fast Pitch Softball Athlete of the Week. Congratulations, Emily Phillips. Give it up for Emily. That's it for me. Hey, you too can be an Athlete or Student of the Week. Just exhibit those uh, PBIS virtues, all right? Have a great day, and we will see you tomorrow. Thanks, Mr. Harris, and great work out there to the students of the week. Hey, everyone, I'm Sam here with Cheesy Challenges, and let's get it started off with Family Feud. Competing from Lunch A is me, Lily Downing, Studi, Colt Brown, Riley Messerschmidt, and Andrew Zig. I'm sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. Um, from Lunch B, we have Joel Truder, Spencer Scholes, Blake Sheard, Aiden Trawick, Matteo Melli, and Noam. From Lunch C, we have Elena, Charlotte, Claire, Jessica, Divya, and Sally Z. And those are our family feuds. So um, we will send you an email, and you will be split into random teams. Now make anything from Mrs. Jarvis's room. We have two people competing against each other. We have Avi Duel and Josie S. And now for the real raffle to begin, we have Ring on the Pole. Okay. All right, I am going to choose eight people. We have Avi N and Isaiah P, as well as Aubrey S, Connor B. We also have Ava R and Colin M. Those are the people who are competing on Ring on the Pole. Congratulations, winners. Now we have headphone lip reading, and this is the same. Eight people will be chosen. Eva S, Rinda P, Audra B, Jaden P, Jamel A, Ostrida Y, Gabby M, and Arifa B. All right, and finally, we have one more category, Guess That Song. And the following people, Noah R, Isaac Meyer, Rachel B, Alexa Claibon, Lydia B, Kyla Greiner, Serena Sales, Serena Sales, I'm sorry if I pronounced your name wrong, and Eva N. And those people will be competing and guess that song. So, thank you, and we'll send you an email with the details, and we'll see you guys soon. Bye. Yep. yep. Bye. Now it's time for the joke of the day. Why did the baby strawberry cry? Hmm, why? His parents were in a jam. <laughs> That's a real good spread. Be the best extraordinary you, you can be. Stick and and follow PBS expectations every day. And for goodness sake, have a wonderful week, get rest, eat well, and go, go A's! And, and now, now over to Vector. This is Senora Morris. Okay, Senora Morris, mm -hmm. would you rather be a high school student again or be an elementary school teacher? Totally a high school student again. Why? Because I had so much fun in high school. It was awesome, and I can't imagine teaching little kids. I've never wanted to teach elementary, so that sounds terrible to me. Okay, thank you. This is... Emma. Okay, Emma. Would you rather be able to speak every language or talk to animals? Um, every language. Why? Because then I could probably talk to animals, too. So. Okay. This is... Eric. Okay, Eric. Would you rather be five years younger or five years older? Uh, five years younger. Why? Uh, because I don't have as much stress. Okay. This is... Myra! Okay, Myra. Would you rather have 47 chairs 
or five and a half tables. Five and a half tables? Why? Why do I need 47 chairs? Why don't you need 47 chairs? This is... Lincoln. Okay, Lincoln. Would you rather have a red carpet in your house or have an aquarium in your house? Uh, a red carpet in my house. Why? So I can walk on it. This is... Mr. Callahan. Okay, Mr. Callahan. Would you rather be a quintuplet or be an only child? Oh, a quintuplet. Why? Um, I've always heard that like twins and triplets have this like psychic connection, and I always wondered what that's like. With quintuplets, you'd have three other people that, or no, twins is five, right? So you'd have four other people that you would be have that like psychic connection with, and I think that would be really really cool. Okay, thank you.